Hey everybody, back in the shop again, I'm geared up for work. It's the evening. I have a night delivery uh, to get done tonight. Uh, they called me in to see if I could deliver at 9 p.m. Uh, in Winnipeg. Uh, I didn't work today because during the day we had our uh, the ultrasound for Brit, right? So I figured, yeah, why not? And we have a meeting tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. at work, so I'll uh, go in for then, I'll work late tonight, and uh, snag me a couple more hours this week because I'm missing quite a bit of work. So uh, I'll, I'll take what I can get. Night delivery. We're supposed to be getting a massive snowstorm. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. But what I do want to talk about is Truck World. You guys have probably heard about this already. I'm going to be there April 21st to 23rd. It's in Mississauga. Some people say it's in Toronto, Mississauga. It's all the greater Toronto area. It's close to the Toronto airport at the International Center. It's a big, huge exhibition. It's Canada's biggest truck show. I really hope to see you there. I'm going to be at booth 20. If you guys want to come say hello, I'm going to be walking around, talking to exhibitors. Uh, everything that's new, up and coming is going to be there. All the big names are going to be there. I heard even the uh, producers and creators of uh, American Truck Simulator are going to be there. I'm going to go and find them, all right? I got, to, I got to find out if that's true. And then I'm going to go and find them because I love their game and I'm sure a lot of you like that as well. If you want to come there, you can register at truckworld.ca. Use my promo code TWJOSH for free admission. You can get in the doors for free. Love to see you there. It's Monday morning and I'm a little tired. She's a little more tired than me, I think. Our, uh, our smallest boy, Wiener. Had some uh, issues, stomach bug, or something. stomach bug this last night or so, and she was up with him a lot of the night, and therefore I was awake a lot of the night too, but uh, not quite as much. I put in earplugs after a while. I didn't realize he was sick, but but he made it outside every time. Huh? Good boy. The mother and her took good care of him. Yippers. Love my boys. Time to go for another ultrasound. And run all the way into Winnipeg again. It's ultrasound number what, three since we started this? Uh, four. Well, I guess three since we started at the drugs. This familiar building, we're here again. And I am once again sitting in the husband's parking lot with the other husbands waiting for their wives or girlfriends up there another ultrasound today so uh, they're just checking on our follicles and uh, there was 14 in there last time they checked uh, they want to see what size they're at and now this is the the most intense part of this whole uh, process we got to come in probably again either tomorrow or the next day and every probably second day until they're ready to go in there and retrieve the eggs hopefully get all 14 and uh, we'll see how many of them make it through the whole fertilization process. And then the ones that do make it, we freeze. We can talk more about how that process when we get to it. For now, we're just uh, trying to get through this. Britt's been handling it like a champ. She's been, uh, I want to say perfectly normal. But I was expecting a little bit more of a roller coaster of like emotions and stuff because you know they're they're putting a lot of different hormones into her. I was we were both warned that it would be a roller coaster and it really hasn't been. She's been completely level, very happy. I think she's just very content and very excited that this whole thing is actually happening. This is her whole life dream to be a mom, right? And uh, this is all she's ever wanted. So I think she's just very excited to. Uh, to be on the road with this journey. So uh, she may be feeling worse than she's letting on, but uh, you know she's just sucking it up and handling it like a champ because she knows that the reward for this will be a healthy little baby. We'll see what happens. It's been quite the journey to get here, years. You know, I feel like I'm just kind of useless at this point. There's not much I can do. My part is coming later this week. Uh, my, my 
my big my big part my big appearance where I get to go upstairs <laughs> and uh, give my contribution and then that's pretty much the end of my part right until the baby's born and then uh, then it's go time there diapers and uh, short nights no sleep and uh, well, we'll find out when we get there uh, I don't care it's gonna be worth it gonna be worth it she'll be back down soon and she can let you know how it went she's back I am here keep in mind she didn't sleep much last night because her fur baby wouldn't let her sleep <laughs> her fur baby stomach wouldn't let her sleep it's good practice for when skin babies come excellent practice <laughs> yeah. so this time we only saw 10 eggs Last time it was 12, the time before that was 14, but that doesn't mean that they're not in there. They could just be hiding behind others. Hopefully. It's not a huge space, so. Okay. Um, two more days of shots, and then they're either going to trigger me Wednesday or Thursday. Okay. And then when is the egg retrieval? If Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So if they trigger you on Wednesday. It'll be Friday. That triggers them to release, then it would be on Friday. So we've got to come back in Wednesday morning, you said? Yeah, 8.30. Okay, day after tomorrow, that's what we thought. So, once again, let's go get some more drugs. All right, drugs. Another $1,134 right there. And 79 cents. Yep. <laughs> so all together, the first one uh, that we picked up was for five days. That was $2,300, not $22, it was $2,300. Last time was another $1,500. So then we, what does that equal? It's, uh, it was $1,568. 1568 so $23, $33, 38 $100, plus another 11 now. So forty nine hundred, about five thousand dollars. Yeah. Well, five thousand dollars in prescription yeah. injections. Yeah. So far. So far, yes. Okay. Wednesday we go in again, and they're thinking. I uh, told them before, right, that the uh, egg retriever will be uh, next weekend, sometime Friday, it's Saturday, Sunday. Weekend. Yeah. And then there'll be a trigger shot we got to get yet. How much are those? Those are two hundred bucks, right? Oh. Uh, it depends on the dosage, I'm assuming. I don't know, but I mean, healthcare doesn't cover any of this stuff, so. Okay. So we're trying to keep track of the financial side of it just because we found it very difficult to find out how much this was going to cost. The nurses at our fertility clinic were very vague, and rightly so, I guess everyone's is a little bit different. Everyone needs a little bit different doses, but they wouldn't even give us a general ballpark until we like hounded them a little bit. Yeah. And then after hounding them for a while, they finally gave us this general, you know, about $17,000. Okay, well, this is very important information to know because we need to make sure we're all financially set before we get into this so that we don't get halfway through it and run out of money and be like, oh no, we just wasted all our money because we can't finish this now. But the good news is for all of these procedures, they do accept credit cards. So if you do run out of cash and you have a credit card, at least you can use that. I mean, I don't recommend putting it all on a credit card because interest rates are so high, but to each their own, if that's, that, that's a backup you can use at least. I was afraid that they wouldn't even accept credit cards for some reason. I thought that that was a thing, but they do. So uh, anyways, we're fortunate enough. We've been able to pay our whole way through this. And uh, that's, that's why we're sort of sharing the financial side of it because uh, some people might have a difficult have a difficult time figuring out how much. So it was $8,820 for this egg retrieval process, the whole thing. Not including the six hundred dollar holding fee for the holding spot. Fee. So in we're the, in the cycle. That's just holding fee. Yeah, that's right. So it's about nine thousand dollars just for the egg retrieval part of it. We're at five thousand dollars now for the injection part of it. That's going to go up a little bit yet, probably. Plus one hundred and fifty bucks for 000. a preemptive ultrasound before this even starts. And then once we do the transfer, 
which is when they implant the uh, fertilized egg, that's another $2,000. That'll bring us up to about 15,000 if I'm doing the math right in my head. We'll do the math better for you when we've gotten more sleep, more caffeine, and, and this is all over, but yeah, right around there. So far, so 15, they, they quoted us about 17,000 and they said that would be the high end. Uh, so that's pretty close so far. So we'll see what happens at the end of it. Uh, we'll keep you guys in the loop. So if you're thinking, you and your partner are thinking of going through this in the future, you have a, a rough ballpark of the cost. But remember every region in Canada, every province has their own system for doing this. Here in Manitoba, we have a pretty good tax rebate or whatever you call that. Uh, we can claim this on our taxes and we get a lot of it back next year, next income tax in 2023. From what I've been told, we get more back than any other provinces, so. Yeah, yeah. So it all depends where you're at. And in the U.S. it might be something completely different. Your healthcare system is completely different than ours up here. I don't understand that one bit. But uh, for here, this is our story from Manitoba. It'd be a fun day out. Anyways, right? Any one of those days, April 21st, 22nd, 23rd, out in Mississauga there. If you're in the area, why not swing past? It doesn't cost you anything. Just make sure you register on trekworld.ca with my promo code and drop in. Say hello if you're in the area. And while you're there, you can check out all the other exhibitors that are, you'll be pretty impressed. It's a pretty big thing. It's a, it's, there's gonna be a lot to see there. So you can plan to just swing by, but you can expect to stay a little while because there's a lot to see. Still a little bit of snow in the shady areas where the sun doesn't hit too much, but looking out here at the sunset, a nice dry pavement. It's hard to believe that they call, they're calling for 40 centimeters of snow starting tomorrow night that's up to two feet and some areas even more out west near the edge of the red river valley on the west side they're calling up to 80 centimeters in some places 100 centimeters is one meter 80 centimeters what is that that's like three feet right 30 60 no almost three feet two and a half feet or so i don't know my math is off right now but oh it's supposed to be the biggest blizzard in decades for Manitoba. I'm looking out here at the beautiful evening today, like it's like, really, really mother nature. Really Manitoba. I guess we've been spoiled with so many mild winters in the past decade, in the past five years that, you know, we gotta make up for it sometime. So enjoy it while we can. Tomorrow will be the last nice day for a little while. It's all supposed to end by next weekend. And it'll probably melt over the next week, but man, that's gonna be a lot of water everywhere again. Good times. Thanks, Colorado. Appreciate it. And shout out to North Dakota and Minnesota, south of us, who are uh, gonna be getting it worse than us, from what I've heard. Good old Colorado low. Just grabbed my paperwork from my mail slot. Van trailer 5198. That's what we're looking for. I'm guessing it'll probably be in the loaded lineup over here. They said it was ready to go. 5147, 5130, 5138, 5199, that's close. Oh, so close. 5198, 98, where are you? 98, 98, ha ha! Here you are, Dark Hole. How you doing, bud? I'm gonna take you into the city. A little bit of nighttime deliveries. Come here. Come here. You're gonna be my friend, whether you like it or not. Come here. Oh, 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 yeah, there. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, there you go. And we get a little, little bit of a test there. Oh, yeah, we're tied on. All right. Whoops. I got me some new summertime gloves. They're a little thinner, they breathe a little better. 
My other gloves were for winter time. And my hands get hot real quick then. These are nice and light. I always use Vigo gloves. I'm not trying to advertise them to you or anything, but uh, you know, they're worth a mention. They got lots of different uh, types of gloves. Winter gloves, summer gloves, spring gloves, work gloves, gardening gloves. I don't know. I always get them off Amazon. It's just convenient because they're, uh, I get prime delivery with them then. I don't like ordering anything from Amazon that's not a prime delivery. So it has the prime thing on it. I'm game. Let's make sure we got no air leaks. I don't know if you noticed it yet or not. I don't think I've showed you. I remember uh, right around here, there was those terrible, ugly marks. I was able to polish this down a bit and get rid of that. I'm not finished yet. But it looks a lot better where those mirrors used to be. It used to be like these, uh, just an ugly marking there, eh? Got that all fixed up. Slowly one bit at a time, shining her up. I heard no air leaks from the glad hands there. Let's go back here, make sure the brakes and airbags back here aren't leaking. Give them a kick. Compressed air, compressed air, fantastic. All right. What do we got in here? What are those? You guys wanna see? I wanna see. Uh, what do we got in the box? <sighs> bubble wrap, that's fun. You guys wanna pop some bubbles? Oh, that was fun, okay, that was fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like uh, coolers. There's something at the front there too. Okay, so it's not that bad. And they're all on pallets, so they'll be able to unload it with the uh, pallet jack, that's good. I was wondering if it would be something that would need to be hand bombed off. Uh, sometimes they're a little sneaky like that. Hey, can you do this quick delivery? <laughs> I get there. Oh! <laughs> we gotta hand bomb a whole trailer. No, not the case today. <laughs> I don't mind hand bombing. It's uh, That's why they send me on those deliveries, because I won't complain about it. It's good for the heart. It's good to exercise. It's just nice to have a heads up. <laughs> oh well. What can you do? All part of the job, right? Don't forget, it's latched. Good. I'm a little bit nervous about this snowstorm coming in because uh, we have our, uh, well, the last ultrasound appointment on Wednesday. We're hoping the last one. And then on Friday is the actual procedure. That's what we're hoping for anyways, but it might be different. But Wednesday is supposed to be when that snowstorm rolls in. So we might be putting it in four wheel drive because we're getting in there. That's a very important, very expensive appointment. A little bit of snow is not going to stop us from getting there. I just hope it's not too bad. I hope it's not too bad. Oh yeah, that looks so much better. So much better. Got a little bit of reflection in there already, you can see that. I mean, if you polish it enough, it'll turn into a mirror pretty much, right? But this is, compared to what it was like up here, this is what it was, right? But you can see where I started. Always making things better. You want to make them, uh, always want to make things better, leave them better than you found them. This should just be a quick delivery then, especially since I have an appointment time. They should be ready for me, right? Show up there, bing, bang, boom, get everything off the trailer, I can go home. Be home before midnight. See? See if we can get across here quick. So I'm gonna go around the east side of Winnipeg to the north side, come down Route 90, and my delivery is on Kiwaitan Street. 
corner of Kuwait and Street and Burroughs. If you're familiar with Winnipeg, if you're not, join the club. Most people aren't. I'm just impressed that you've heard of Winnipeg. nighttime delivery like this is that uh, very little traffic at least I'm expecting very little traffic gas prices are still sitting at about a dollar 74 per liter for gasoline I think it's about a dollar 85 for diesel somewhere You know, it's like they just needed an excuse to raise the prices. I don't think they're ever going to come back down. I hope I'm wrong. Key Waiton, or as Google says it, Key Watton. Key Watton Street. This is up in the northwest uh, corner of Winnipeg. Key Waiton. We're almost there. Just around the corner. First, we gotta wait for the cars, Google. Calm down. There's another one coming, I'm way too nice. I'm way too nice, I should have gone. Okay, this time for sure. I'm gonna need both lanes. Well, I gotta wait for that guy now too. All right, there we go. Goodness for GPS now. Remember the days when you had to like squint and try to read the street sign? <laughs> ah, now you got computers that tell you where to go. You just gotta double check them. Always double check them. Don't trust them right off the bat or right out of the gate. I, I think not these lights, but the next lights. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. This is Church Avenue. Funny because I don't know if there's any churches on that avenue, but that's Church Avenue. Oh, and I'm not gonna be able to make this corner because I see vehicles there already at the light. I'm gonna have to wait. I'm gonna need the whole road to get in there. See, there's cars there. I'm gonna need that whole lane. Or will I? Oh, I can just button hook it. Okay, we're gonna go from here. Cut in here. dock should be right there. There it is. Wide open and free. Oh, it looks like there's guys standing out there in the lot already. Oh, no, I'm not gonna be able to make that turn with that SUV there. Busy streets for this time of night. You wait there, little buddy. I'm gonna turn in here. I'm gonna turn in here. You just wait. Tight, 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 tight. Okay, I see them standing outside here already. Okay, I'll uh, see you guys in a little bit. I gotta talk to these guys here. I'm gonna line myself up at the dock. Getting all excited, I thought that they had fixed the purple light. No, it was just at the right angle, it was hiding behind the other one. No, it's still there. Those are factory defects, they're not supposed to be purple. They weren't installed there to be purple. They were supposed to be white, like all the rest of them. 
there's been a factory defect and uh, they need to be replaced, which is why I'm wondering, how long is it gonna take? This here is the uh, rural municipality of Rishot, I believe, or Risho. <laughs> no idea. It could take years. We'll be right back. Gotta go put this trailer away yet, but uh, I'm just gonna drop our paperwork off inside here. Come with me. I've never taken you inside before, have I? This will be fun. Gotta get out my secret card that gives me all the access. Welcome. We'll just uh, completed loads. Oh, I'm gonna staple these together. Right, delivered on here. Delivered. Completed loads. There you go. And the office is in there. trailer and go home. Time is 10.30. I got here at what? Uh, started at 7.30. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. This trailer is now empty, so it'll go in the empty lot in the back. It's 3080. Oh no, it's 3090. Thirty eighty is the one that has the new motor. Who knows where that one went? Must be out on the road already now. To get really broke in for a new motor, they'd have to send it with a heavy load to the mountains. That would break it in. Everything else is full. The whole place. So, we'll put it here so that they know it's an empty. And they'll uh, throw it in a hole when one opens up first thing in the morning.